we start with the read only, not in the instrument. First of all, we're assuming that there is a read that crows at a C. The crow is produced by putting your mouth all the way down to the thread and just gently blow. We should get several octaves of C. If it doesn't do that, we'll assume that it does do that because that's a necessity. It's an absolute necessity for playing in tune. Um, to make the embouchure, it helps to stick the tip of your thumb in your mouth and suck on the tip of your thumb. Feel that shape. It's like a tight whistle. Mm -hmm. And that is the shape of the reed, the embouchure with the reed in it. Form that by dropping the jaw open, place the tip of the reed in the center of the bottom lip, and roll it in, thinking of a whistle shape. Thus, and top teeth are covered. Now, I didn't address breathing because we will breathe. As you roll the reed in, you take a breath. And it is a complete breath. Think of the lungs as bottom, middle, and top. Fill from the bottom. Fill all the way to the top. Keeping that whistle shape. One image to use is a whistle. One is an anteater's snout, the long, tapering nose. It works. An embouchure, now I said the reed should grow a C. The embouchure is going to make, ideally, about an A flat. We can adjust for registers by rolling the reed in and out, stuck to the lower lip. Your reed is, is Velcroed. I tell students that the reed should be Velcroed to their lower lip. When the reed goes in, your lip goes with it. The low, lowered pitch is what you would use for the lower notes for the first octave. The upper pitch is the embouchure position for higher um, second octave, even third octave, then the reed would be rolled in so far that your mouth is nearly to the thread. Beginning students should never play above the staff until they have some control of that high and low with the amount of reed in their mouth. Um, one other reed only thing to do, shaping the embouchure, taking a breath, also is tonguing, only on the reed. The tip of the tongue will be set on the reed as the air is set, taking a breath, place the tip of the tongue on the tip of the reed, build up the air pressure, Release it. There is a sound when you release the tongue from the reed. The first couple of times I made notes, I did not begin the sound with the tongue. But now. The tongue hardly moves. It's just the tip. All those skills with creating an embouchure and making a crow, making an A-flat, being able to roll the reed in and out. All those, I think that the teacher, the band teacher, oboe player or not, should be able to do those before they can teach the student how to play.